she realizes he's really, really nice, but it takes her a few days to kind of realize that. And then, of course, she realizes, um, I won't, she realizes that he's had his heart broken and that he's actually quite sad most of the time. And obviously his brothers are horrible to him all the time and they bully him around all the time and all, all the other giants bully him and he has a very hard time and she sees that in him after a couple days of them spending time together. And um, when he takes her to dream country, I think that's when she really, really sees that he's, um, <clears throat> that he's nicer than all the other giants because I think first she sees that the other giants are horrible and terrible and really just nasty and then she looks at him and she realizes he's, he's much better than them but it does take her a little while to realize that. It really changes her. At the beginning of the film, she's quite, um, she's very, very strong and very, very like, responsible she's very very responsible but then as we get through the film we see that she's actually a lot more softer because she gets a little bit upset at some points in the film and we realize that you know she's um not all not always as strong as she seems and we realize that she has had a very tough life so far um and you know we realize that she's actually quite sad about her She's, she's actually very sad inside and at first in, uh, at the beginning of the movie you see that, um, but as we get through you just see it more and more and it's such, um, it's an emotional journey for her and it's an adventurous and exciting journey for her as well. So she has all the emotions throughout the whole thing. These past few months, I have just been overwhelmed by how incredible and amazing the costumes are in this film. I mean, they're such imaginative costumes and people have worked so hard on them and I just think it's so nice to be able to um, know that you're wearing an outfit that people have really worked hard on to make for, for Sophie. It's just really nice to, to feel that, but I just think they're so imaginative, like that curtain dress she wears. That was so imaginative and it was made so well and all those, I had loads of measures done and I was thinking, what do they need this, this for? And then I realised why they need all these measurements and they work so hard on them, but it's definitely, I have to say, it's definitely worth it because they look incredible. The costumes are amazing. Penelope is just a wonderful woman. She is so kind, she is so lovely. She has a smile on her face every time I see her and she, she's just wonderful and lovely and kind. And I could sit here for a week and tell you lovely things about Penelope, but um, it's just, she plays the queen in such a wonderful way. Obviously we're all from England, so um, we all kind of know the Queen quite well, but I have to say, she plays her in the most amazing way. You, it's like when you watch her, you think, wow, it's like you're actually acting with the Queen. She's just so like the Queen. She's really, really thought through how the Queen is gonna react to certain situations, like when she first sees Sophie. It's like, you really do think you're acting with the Queen. She's really amazing and I, it's such an honour to work with her and she's a lovely person too, so it's really great. He has a really wonderful way with directing children like me. It's really, um, I find he does it in a way that's kind and he makes sure that you understand what he's just said to you. And I think he does it in a wonderful way um, and I find that I find it incredible and it's such an inspiration because I want to be a director when I'm older. So it's, um, watching him work is quite interesting and learning how he does things is quite interesting. And obviously every director has their own way of doing things, but I think his way is probably the best. He's just really kind to everyone and makes sure that, you know, he, he's just lovely. He's just, his directing is wonderful. He, um, he directs you, but he lets you make the character your own, as I said, and I, I just think he's wonderful. He's wonderful. 
Working with Mark is really, really, really lovely. Um, he's just so wonderful and he's so lovely and he's so kind to me every day. He's always got a smile on his face when I see him and he's just kind to me all of the time. And I, I think um, we have quite a good relationship, kind of almost like Sophie and BFG's relationship. And yes, I think it's quite, sometimes it can be very difficult working with all the technology. As I said, the blue screen was quite weird. Um, but it's like you kind of have to imagine there's a giant there. You have to imagine that it, it's quite difficult sometimes to imagine that there's a giant there. Um, but of course, Mark plays him in the most wonderful way. It's when I hear Mark talking as the BFG, like when I act with him, I, my imagination just goes wild. I see him there with me.